One day they woke up and found that Amazon had started listing the exact same product, causing their sales to go to zero overnight. Amazon had undercut their price, setting it below what the manufacturer would generally allow it to be sold, so that even if they wanted to, they couldn't match the price. Here's how the apparel company described working with Amazon, and I quote, If you head over to the e-commerce giant everybody loves to hate and search up, well, search up anything really, shirts, sunscreen, sofas, cereal, whatever, anything at all. It's virtually guaranteed that the first results shown are ads that a third party paid gobs of money for Amazon to display. And directly underneath the paid product listings, you'll usually see one or two products either owned by or branded by Amazon. 99 out of 100 times, you have to scroll past the paid sponsored and Amazon owned products before seeing anything from any of the other sellers on Amazon. How did this come to happen? Is Amazon manipulating search results to give preferential treatment to their own products? Yes, but also no. The truth is more complicated than you might think. According to the financial reports to investors, Amazon makes more than $638 million a day. A large part of that $638 million comes from the sales of 1.9 million small and medium-sized businesses which use Amazon as a platform to sell its goods. 1.9 million small businesses selling their products on Amazon gives the e-commerce giant a whole treasure trove of data. Data on what customers buy, on how often they're bought, customer satisfaction with different items, and, in some cases, Amazon even knows how the items are made. In short, Amazon has all the required information to replicate any profitable business model on its site. Combine that with the company's ability to dictate which specific product listings appear when a customer is trying to buy something, and you've got yourself the perfect business model that essentially lets you print money for free, risk-free. The legitimate small businesses spend their money researching and developing products. They take all the risks of introducing a new idea to a cold market, and they have to pay for all of their marketing. <clears throat> and they have to pay for all of their marketing to get their new idea in front of as many eyeballs as possible. Then, when a product starts making money, Amazon will create their own copycat variant of the item, list of Amazon variant onto their website, and then manipulate their search engine to show the Amazon products ahead of the small business which came up with the original product. The end result is the small business losing its sales, while Amazon's copycat variant skyrockets to the moon. Small business owners have long suspected that this was happening. I started a jewelry store in 2017, and remember constantly reading the stories of entrepreneurs who had similar experiences. And there's also this 2018 report alleging the exact same thing. But nobody has ever been able to prove that Amazon was deliberately engaging in this copycat method. Until now. Reuters recently published a report citing a 2016 Amazon internal document detailing a deliberate plan to copy their third-party competitors and run them out of business. This report included the story of how the home furniture company, William Sonoma, had its design stolen by Amazon. You can see the two of them on the screen together right now. The chair and table on the left are from William Sonoma, and the chairs and tables on the right are Amazon's copycats. I don't want to spend any more time talking about the report since you can literally just read it for free if you're interested in the details. Instead, I want to talk about how Amazon is able to get away with copying and striking down their competitors. Something nobody else has somehow talked about yet. Jeff Bezos has been asked multiple times under oath whether Amazon manipulates search results to prefer Amazon's own branded items over third-party competitors. And his answer has always been the same. No. The algorithm shows the customer the most relevant search results. In other words, the people with similar buying habits to you were more likely to be interested in certain items from certain companies over its competitors. Because of this, whenever you search for an item, Amazon will show the products it's learned that people most like you will buy. That's part of what relevancy means. And remember, these are his testaments when he was sworn to tell the truth. To lie would mean committing perjury. So, it's relatively safe to assume he's telling the truth here. Amazon really does show you items based on what people similar to you have a pattern of buying. Or does it? How can Amazon be manipulating the search results to show their own items, while also showing customers the items its user profiles and algorithms think will be the most relevant? The answer is actually so simple. They're both possible, and you literally just have to visit www.amazon.com to see how. If you visit Amazon's homepage right now, 
the very first thing you'll see at the top of the page is a carousel of seven things you can purchase. You literally cannot miss it. It's a giant banner at the top of the screen. If I use incognito mode so Amazon doesn't have a user profile to decide which products to show, four of the seven items displayed in the carousel are from Amazon. That's more than half. If I'm logged into my Amazon account, that number goes up to five out of seven displayed items being from Amazon. Here's a crucial bit. The fact that it's a product carousel means that only one item can be shown to the user at any given time. This means that statistically, the first thing anybody sees when they visit Amazon.com to do their shopping will most likely be an Amazon product. When the user inevitably clicks on the Amazon product after seeing it displayed in the carousel, their user profile updates to reflect the fact that they have a history of viewing Amazon branded products. Once that happens, Amazon can legitimately display their products ahead of their third party competitors because that user did genuinely click on an Amazon made product, thereby showing an interest in Amazon made products. And the more people who click on an Amazon product, the more Amazon can justify boosting their own products ahead of the competition. Yes, Amazon is giving preferential treatment to its own products on their own platform, which would normally be a massive conflict of interest. But that conflict of interest magically goes away the instant you or anyone with a similar profile to you views or, hells forbid, buys an Amazon branded product. Let's talk about that real quick. The purchasing of Amazon products. Amazon has a lot of money. That just tends to happen to a company when they make more than $638 million a day every single day on average. In fact, in the year 2020, that revenue of $638 million led to Amazon making a net income of more than $21.3 billion. That's more than $21 billion profit after all of the expenses are taken off. This bottomless ocean of money means that Amazon doesn't actually need to be constantly churning a profit. What's more, their cloud hosting service is actually their true money maker, but that's a topic for another day. So Amazon, with its $21 billion net income, can actually afford to lose money on the stuff that they sell without it impacting its bottom line. Meaning. Amazon can just sell their copycat items for a much cheaper price than their third party competitors and snatch the sale. After all, why wouldn't you buy a six pack of sponges for $5 from Amazon if it's the cheapest bundle available? Or a 12 inch cast iron skillet for $27? Or 50 cloth hangers for $24? A hanger is just a hanger. There isn't much of a difference in quality between an expensive hanger as opposed to a cheap hanger. And once you've made the decision to save a couple of bucks by buying an Amazon branded product, they're able to use that purchase as an excuse to show you more and more Amazon branded products. And remember, you don't even ever have to have actually looked at or bought an Amazon product. Amazon can do this to you as long as any other user with a similar purchasing history to yours views or buys an Amazon product. The more often this occurs, the more Amazon owned products will be shown on your homepage and search results. More Amazon owned products getting shoved into your face means less third party products will appear alongside it. In short, Amazon has created a system for them to legally monopolize the shopping on their platform. We called it Amazon heroin because you just kept going and you had to get your next fix, your next check. But at the end of the day, you find out that this person who was seemingly benefiting you, making you feel good, was just ultimately going to be your downfall, end quote. So Mr. Bezos, this is one of your partners. Why on earth would they compare your company to a drug dealer?